into the second one, Gabe Green versus Phil Rowe. Uh, yeah, Gabe sure. Green is coming off a barn burner fight in his UFC debut against Daniel Rodriguez. Um, he's taking on Phil Rowe, who's making his UFC debut, but does have a third round KO on the Contender Series where he landed eight strikes per minute while only absorbing six, 70% accuracy. In Green's fight against Rodriguez, he landed over eight strikes but absorbed 12 at less than 50. Um, Green also holds a seven and a half reach advantage. Also, I think uh, Green fought better competition and has a five and zero amateur record. Um, I had to look at the amateur; they they don't have like extensive records, so like I guess that's kind of a big deal. Uh huh. Um, that being said, I think Roe is still better and be able to beat Green. Neither guy has ever won a decision, so if you want to make a smart bet, you might just want to bet um that this fight doesn't go the distance because i can't imagine that it will but um yeah i'm going uh who am i going with this one i don't know who you're going with i know who i'm going with (laughs) you're going row yeah yeah i'm going to disagree and i'm going to take uh gabe green um phil row um well that is back in 2014 but he did get TKO'd back then. Um, but he's been working at the sport and getting better throughout the last like six or seven years. Um, he's 30, like you said, 30 years old. He's coming off a contender series win where he beat Leon Shabazian. Any relation to Edmund Shabazian? That's a good question. Probably, right? Uh, they, 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 they both fight out of Glendale. So, um, California, uh, they might. I don't know. Sounds about right. I don't know. Could have a relation, could be his cousin, could be his brother. I don't know. We should have done more research on that, but hey, I didn't know it was coming. But anyway, um, yeah, you got Ro in this fight. Um, I think Gabe Green gets it done after um his his last fight against Daniel Rodriguez. Like that was a, that was a good fight. It was. Um, and he definitely showed some solid stand up. I um I think that he maybe gets it done in the first round by uh. First, second round knockout. I think it'll be go pretty quick. Yeah, you think? Yeah, I, I can see it too. Both, yeah, both guys are. Um, they don't really like going the distance, so yeah. But, what, what weight are they fighting at? One seventy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Phil Rowe with an eighty-inch reach at one seventy is fucking incredible. That is, but and a, half inch, and a forty-four leg reach. Yeah, like he's a long, lanky guy. Yeah. Gabe Green is 5'10 with a 73-inch reach. But 73-inch reach isn't bad for the divisions. No, no. It's Fairly not average, if not good. Gabe so. Green is 1-2 one at 170, though. I don't really like that at all. I don't know. I don't really like Gabe Green. I'm... I mean, he fought at Bellator before he came here, so... Yeah. But, like... He Daniel, I think Daniel Rodriguez is kind of a stud. Like, I know he lost his last fight to that Dalby dude, but like Nicholas Dalby, yeah, he's he's good too. Yeah, so I'm gonna take Gabe Green, but this is a this is a fight that I'm not very confident in. I'll just say that Gabe Green, small um, sample size for like both guys, so it's tough. Yeah, um, this is a fight where I think like if you go on DraftKings, they're like kind of identical. And, salary you know because it's kind of a toss-up what are the odds do you know um minus 140 for gabe green plus 120 for phil row i like that underdog i like that yeah um yeah last fight right so yeah we both got an underdog so far so all right so the next fight um well for that yeah i got green you got row um like i said gonna be it's gonna be interesting somebody i think somebody's gonna get caught and somebody's gonna get put out but we'll see what happens um 